What's up, guys? I bet 601 coming at y'all with a video. But we kind of left off on T-Ray 5.0. We got some goodies. We're going to do an unboxing. But we're not going to tell y'all what's in the box until we actually get it open. I'll just tell you this much. It's from Summit Racing Equipment. What's in this box right here is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. As a kid, or having T-Bird 5.0. This is something that I've always wanted. So I figure while I'm doing my transformation on T-Bird 5.0, I figure I'll go ahead and, and do this upgrade and have this put on along with some other stuff before we actually, you know, get closer to completing the transformation of T-Bird 5.0. We're gonna crack it open, crack it open. Like I said, it is from Summit Racing Equipment. And this is something, uh, as a kid, I've always wanted. You know? Um, we're gonna crack it open. Y'all see what's in here. I'm really excited about it. Um, just adding something else to T-Rex 5.0. All that. Just gonna put this to the side right now. Let's see, can we get it out of here? I don't know if y'all already see what it is. Hetman headers. T-Bird 5.0 open to get some headers. Let's see. They're not long tube, they're mid link. There's a driver side one. They're just black painted. So let's see what else we got that came in the box. Y'all see? That's what they call mid link. I mean, they're not long at all, if you ask me. They're not long too, but I really didn't want them for the sound. I just kind of wanted them for the looks. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna give me a better sound than what I have. Let's see what we got. That's what I was hoping. I better have some gaskets. So I got gaskets to go with them. Two gaskets. I suppose this is where my exhaust pipe would have come to. And the mountain plane. So tomorrow morning, uh, before I go to work, I, I'm, I decided to just drive the car to a local to a local mechanic shop that I had done some work for me last time. And I'm gonna let them look at what I got and um, perhaps get them to install the headers on the car for me. That's the plan. I'm not gonna open this bag because I don't wanna lose nothing out of it. That's the plan. So I'll take y'all along with me in the morning when I drive the car to the mechanic shop before I go to work. That way I have an idea if I want them to put them on. I mean, I really can do it myself, but 
I just kind of want to see what their input is on putting them on. Like how much they're going to charge me to put them on. So that's what they look like. They got a little scratch on them, but like I said, I ain't really worried about that. I just want the, the look. And I'm not, I haven't made up my mind yet too when I get my exhaust ran. That's another thing too. My exhaust on the car is old and you can actually see like a pipe welded to another pipe from the side of the car. I don't like that. So like I said, the transformation that I'm actually doing to T-Bird 5.0, all those little things that I'm not comfortable with, like the exhaust for one, I'm getting changed. So right now I have turn down exhaust on the car. They turn down. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do what they call a gooseneck when it comes over the axle and come down, like right behind the tire, not touching the body, nowhere near the body of the car, but like just to a point where they took the weight. That's my plan. But like I said, guys, in the morning, I'll take y'all with me to the mechanic shop. They just wanna look at what I got. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go out here tonight and just go ahead and put these in the car. So that way in the morning when I get up, I can just zoom down there and uh, let them look at what I got. So until then, we'll see y'all in the morning. Peace. All right, guys, we and T-Bird headed to the mechanic shop Friday morning. We just floating. No tent, new doors. Had to get it looked at. See you when we get down. All right, guys, we done made it up here. Let's see what they're talking about. All right, guys, I didn't think they felt comfortable with me having a camera on, so I, I didn't even turn it on. Um, I'm gonna bring the car back Wednesday, and maybe, yeah, I'll just bring the camera back then and just show y'all we leaving the car in the shop, but they're gonna hook me up. So we're gonna go take this thing back to the house and uh, get ready for work. What's up guys? How about 601 coming at you again? Working on T-Bird 5.0. Okay, so where I left off at, I went to the mechanic shop and I had them to actually look at my headers and everything, trying to see how much they'll charge me to put them on. So today is Saturday. Friday when I got off work, uh, I got me some PB blast and I just sprayed the bolts down. I was trying to make my mind up, should I let them actually tackle this job or should I just go ahead and try it myself so I ended up trying it myself so when I got home yesterday after work I put the car on my ramps and I actually start taking them off myself so lo and behold I was able to get the passenger side bolts all the way out no problem and right now I'm starting on the driver's side so far I didn't got two bolts out uh, show you what I got going on here all right so we got her on the ramps and as you can see all the bolts are out on this side. And we're starting on this side. We're starting at the back. And so forth, we got the, let me get a little light over here. So far, we got that bolt out right here. And then we got the socket on that one. We're getting that one out. So we're working our way from the back to the front. So that's where we at. Um, not gonna record the whole footage of me taking it off, but I don't wanna make it too long and lengthy and boring, but that's pretty much where we at. Cut the camera back on uh, once I get uh, everything unbolted. Wish me luck, guys. All right, guys, we have success. We got it all unbolted and it just dropped. So only thing left to do, I'm gonna get under the car and um, I'm gonna take a saw and just cut the pipe on this side and I'm gonna pull the old manifolds out is the plan. Look like it's gonna be a little tough getting it out of there, but we're gonna ease on the car and see what we see. Probably best me to cut the pipe because the other header header's gonna actually probably be in well the pipe will be in the way of the other headers actually clearing so we probably end up just cutting the pipe and then just tying it up under the frame somewhere until we get to a muffler shop. I'm 
I'm about to attempt to cut this pipe. Ain't got much room under here. Let's see what we can do. Wish I could get up pretty good, but I'm not going to be able to. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be tight. I have to cut it in an angle. Let's see here. from the beginning. That's why y'all should wear your safety glasses. See how blade is split? But I want to get started. With that, I can come back in and stop it. So when y'all doing stuff like this, safety like first gloves, safety glasses. Nobody around. Well, nobody around in the way.
more times, but I had better luck with the with the grinding too. Try it again. Can we get it? <clears throat> all right, guys, we got it off. We fought to get it off. We fought like hell to get it off. This little deal right here had me kind of messed up, and then that bolt was stripped. So I had to bend this back just to slide it out up top. But we got it out of there. All right, guys, we got it off. It was a bitch, not gonna lie. That's it right there. I actually used the uh, the saw to cut it, and I have to use the saw again to get it to come out through the side of the engine. I have to slide it out through there. Who knows? Maybe that's how I got to put the other head in. I don't know. I'll see what I can done here. 
not sure if the camera gonna show those black headers down there, but I might need to get some light. Let me get my phone light. So like I said, this side um, was the side where I had the problem with the boat. I don't know if you can see it right there, but it'll be easy to get to. But the headers actually drop down in a good clearing position for this car. Like I said, this T-Bird, 82 T-Bird is on a Fox chassis. So Fox chassis mean, you know, 82 model uh, Mustangs and up. Uh, Friday morning took off work so the mechanic shop is going to uh, re-thread the header, header boat for me then I'm gonna head to the muffin shop so I was kind of in a hurry to do it because it rained last night I was, I was expecting to have this car loaded uh, Thursday when I got off work but I couldn't do it because it's raining so we got a strap we got one strap on the front one strap on the back we're just going around town so we're, going to, we're just gonna creep but see y'all at the mechanic shop guys and stopped at McDonald's and got a biscuit. I don't normally eat biscuits or bread, but we have to get something quick. I don't wanna go sit down the way, eat like no IHOP or no other place this morning. So we headed to the muffin shop now. See you there. Hey, we're good guys and let y'all watch me unstrap it. And that's how it's done, baby.